Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrasa. So this is the third lecture of this lecture series on fundamentals of structural analysis. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to understand support reaction. So uh, in our previous uh, lessons, we have seen uh, degrees of freedom and when we are restricting a joint uh, of, of any structural element or of a structure, uh, to to you can say to move in cert certain direction so we say that that is we are providing support to that particular right so when we say support it is nothing but uh, you can say restricting the motion of particular uh, a particular joint uh, to a particular direction or for uh, it can be rotation also so uh, if you remember we talked about one uh, you can say support which is pin support right pinned support so generally when we say uh, pin support we used to uh, represent it with a, a symbol which is like this okay and suppose we have a beam a continuous beam i will just uh, you can say continue it from here so it's a pin support so what is the you can say uh, uh, what is the properties of this pin support? What is the properties of the, uh, this pin support? So if I say it will uh, uh, restrict, it will restrict. Uh, if I if I just you can say draw three dimensions here. So this is this is x, this is y, and here is a perpendicular axis z. And we are in a 2D plane in the XY plane. So if you see, if we draw, I mean, if we write the uh, properties of this support, so the properties are, it will restrict, it will restrict translation, it will restrict uh, uh, translation along X, right? Second, it will restrict translation along y, correct? It will not allow this joint to move uh, uh, along the y direction and allows rotation, right? Allows rotation. So these are the three properties we can say of this pinned support right so when a joint is assigned suppose this is a joint joint a when it is assigned with this uh, pinned support so this joint is restricted to move or you can say uh, translate along x direction it is restricted to uh, translate along y direction and but at this particular point if i say this beam this is a joint of a beam suppose or if a, a line so this line is allowed to rotate about this i mean about the z axis uh, uh, taking this particular point as center, right so it can it can rotate at this particular joint correct so now now if you replace this symbol of the pin support symbol of the pin support with the forces that we are getting here because when we are we are restricting a motion restricting the motion of the particular uh, point so that means uh, if we are giving some load we are applying some you can say opposite force to that particular applied force then only we can restrict right so so if we see that we are restricting translation along x so basically what we are doing basically what we are doing if this is my uh, line this is the point so what we are doing actually restricting translation along x so we are saying that it is not allowed to move along x right so there is a opposite force that we are acting uh, we are applying which is you can say like this right so this is the reaction that we will be getting right if the force is along this direction then the reaction will be like this if the force is this direction the reaction will be changed like this right as of now i'm just writing to to understand 
uh, uh, to make you understand let me go it a different color right like this as it is not allowed to move along y direction also we are restricting the translation along y direction also so obviously there will be a opposite force right so if the suppose load is downward direction we are considering now so in this case there will be a opposite force here there will be opposite force here correct now here we are allowing rotation so the moment of force will not develop here right moment of force will not develop here because we are allowing rotation if you are restricting rotation about this uh, point about this uh, uh, z axis then then there will be a moment of force developed and we will be getting a opposite uh, you can say uh, what should i say opposite force restricting that or resisting that particular moment right so in this pinned support case if we replace this uh, you can say symbol with the forces then we get something like this right so these these we call reactions so we can say this is my reaction for x y direction so r y and this is reaction for x direction so this is r x correct so this is my i should write it this is my symbol and this is my reaction correct now direction of this reaction forces that we will understand later when we'll be seeing the free body diagrams we'll see and uh, we'll understand the you can say sign conventions uh, whatever sign convention you consider be based on that this reactions will will be drawing right we'll be writing this uh, reactions the direction of the reaction is also dependent on the sign convention so that we will see but as of now if we see that as it is not allowed to go vertically so there will be opposite force so we can say this is the ry as it is not allowed to translate along rx so there is an opposite force restricting that which is my uh, uh, rx actually right so so this is the reaction okay reaction for this pin support now let us let us draw another support if you remember we said there is a support called fixed support Fixed support, correct. So if I just draw a fixed support, this is the symbol of the fixed support. Okay, this is the symbol of the fixed support, right? So you can say this is my symbol we generally use for fixed support. Okay. Now in this case, in this case, what are the uh, properties of this particular support? You see. We can say all translation all translation is are restricted all rotations. Restrict. Correct. So this joint here, this joint here, suppose A, it is uh, not allowed to translate along any direction. If I, if I uh, again follow the same, uh, you can say axis x, y, and there is a perpendicular axis there, right? And we are seeing in the two D plane, x, y plane. So this joint is not allowed to translate along x or y and this line is not allowed to rotate at this particular point about z x so no rotation is uh, uh, allowed no translation is allowed so then only we call it as fixed support so that means if we now you can easily draw right you can easily draw so if i if i draw this joint here First of all, we know all translational restrictors. So we can easily draw. There is a R Y. There is a R X. These two forces will will be getting. Again, there will be a moment, right? So if you see, if you see this, 
if you see the bending of this uh, uh, like suppose we have downward loads so in this case it will be something something like this something like this if you see there is a moment being developed here being developed here like this which is taking the beam upwards right right so there will be a opposite force or opposite moment should i i should not say force opposite uh, uh, moment which will be restricting it so we can say there is a moment like this so i should say suppose m set right so these are the three reactions we'll be getting for two for translation one for rotation so rx ry and mz correct so this is my support reaction support reaction for this fixed support correct correct okay uh, now let us let us see another support another support we have discussed is the roller support okay the ro roller support so roller support generally we draw like this actually you see like this or sometimes you directly draw like this okay so both are same only so in this case if you see this this joint in this joint it is basically allowed to translate along so if i if i uh, write the uh, properties this is my axis so it is allowed to only translate along x direction or you can say only no let me rewrite the sentence only translation along x is allowed okay so that means y is restricted transmission along y is restricted obviously and if i say rotation see this is a roller right it is it is rotating obviously it will be moving at this particular joint so that's why we are there will be no moment developed correct it is it is because it is rotating if you restrict the rotation then how the roller will move right so we can say only translation along x is allowed in this case so that means that means what is the what is the only restriction that we have the only restriction we, that we have at this joint is is the uh, movement or is the you can say uh, motion along vertical axis which is my y axis so for that the reaction that we will be getting or the force that we will be having here is the r y reaction r y right because it is allowed to move in this direction when it is allowed to move in this direction so there is no restriction right no restriction uh, for translation along x so we can, we will not have any reaction force for uh, uh, x direction but as it is not allowed to translate along y axis or go uh, 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 move along y axis so in this case uh, there will be only one reaction which is r y correct so these are the main important supports then there that we will be facing every day there is one more uh, condition which is we call internal hinge internal hinge so when we say internal hinge it's something like this suppose this is a continuous beam Okay, and we have created an internal hinge here. Hinge is nothing but hinge is nothing but this at this particular joint at this particular joint rotation is allowed. This rotation is allowed. Okay, this rotation is allowed. So, so it is something like suppose you have a uh, scale like this, like this. Suppose. So here 
here rotation is allowed correct so similar thing is there there is an internal hinge where rotation is allowed so in this case in this case when it is connected to each other and you are suppose these ends are fixed or uh, uh, it is connected with somewhere to make it stable suppose it is fixed so in this case there will be internal forces developed there will be internal forces developed so if we cut this beam at this particular section if we cut this beam at this particular section we will get some forces which also we can call reaction okay but as these are internal because in the real scenario if you uh, internal hinge is being developed so in this case in this case you will not i mean you will not get any reaction it will be forces which will be within the element within the structural element it can be beam it can be column right so that's why rather calling those as support reactions we call those as internal forces okay so uh, it will be something like this we will discuss this later when we will understand the free body diagram and sign convention so it will be something like this i am separating this joint here and there is another part okay so there will be opposite and equal forces in both the uh, you can say uh, joints because ultimately here it is a single point and there is no reaction so there, sh there should be opposite and uh, you can say equal forces uh, so it will be suppose uh, something like this so if we have a force vertical right so and again it is not it is not allowed to move in the translational direction as it is connected with the, this other end so there will be a force like this similarly let me let me draw force like this similarly there will be another opposite force like this okay now it can be interchanged also based on your sign convention based on your sign convention it will be it can be like this also it can be like this also okay okay but all depends on your sign convention so sign convention is very much important so when we'll be understanding the free body diagram before that we need to discuss uh you can say uh, first we will understand the free body diagram then we'll discuss the sign convention so when sign convention is being discussed then it will be very clear to you how the direction of the force will be, uh, will be written okay how the moment direction will be written so all these things will be clear okay so once you understand this putting these forces okay in in place of these symbols so what basically we are doing we are replacing the supports with the forces or replacing the supports with the reactions so in the free body diagram also we will do the same when we have a beam or column or anything with some load and support we need to draw a another diagram with a similar beam okay, where there will be no support and those supports will be replaced by the reactions or the forces okay so that we will discuss in our next lecture so i hope it is clear how support reactions are developed or what are the support reactions actually so in our next lecture when we will be discussing the free body diagram it will be very clear to you how these support reactions are actually useful for to us okay so uh, see you in the next lecture thank you